gunshots on the other side of the divide. And then from OPP Group 1, we saw this tweet. What is happening in Abuja at Sega Link at Kakaki Social? This happened earlier today in Abuja. A police vehicle stationed outside of Pay Green Supermarket in Popular Aditukumbo, Ademola Crescent, who say to was burnt by Shiites. Let's take a look at that video. Please don't go outside. Please don't go outside. Put padlock. Put padlock. Put padlock. Put padlock. Put padlock. Put padlock. Jesus. I told Omar to stay there only. Everybody should lock the door. Please. 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 Dauda. A lot of tension there we saw yesterday from Tokbe Atiba. Day one, Zuba shoot at protesters, kill a few of them, yet they keep moving. Day two, Yanya Maraba shoot at protesters, kill a few of them, yet they keep moving. Day three, we say to shoot at protesters, yet they keep moving. Someone is obviously not thinking. From Tokbe Atiba, we saw that tweet and from uh, uh, East b 33 la Gunshots and tear gas in Wuse 2. If you are in Wuse 2, Maitama, applying that access, please find a safe place and remain there till this madness subsides. Abuja people, it's better safe than sorry. I beg you people. She also embedded a video, an eyewitness video that we saw yesterday that was trending. Let's take a look at that video. Go for B. Jeff is a liar. What the hell? Jesus, have mercy, have mercy peaceful city of Abuja becoming a crisis zone and then Nagbemi Dennis tweeting said is this how we will be watching day one shootings at day day Zuba few numbers reported dead day two shootings at Yanya Maraba death figures increase day three at the central area we say two and everyone minding their business in Abuja is all right and then uh, from Henry Sheed we saw this tweet uh, dear Shiites be strategic in your battle moving about in droves to nowhere makes nonsense Organize yourselves to the UN office and US embassy in Abuja and sleep there if need be until the world listens to you. Let Buhari's army come and shoot you anywhere near there. From Henry Shida uh, uh, giving his advice to members of the Islamic movement of Nigeria. And from Oluma Dewa, we saw this tweet. Nigerian government is creating another monster with the way they are treating Shiite issue. Only God knows how many lives are lost in Wuse 2 attack today. And then uh, more tweets yesterday from this issue that was trending. Uh, Wuse 2 was actually number one on Twitter. Nigeria trending for several hours. And then from Ashley went, all three, we saw this tweet. Uh, this is not a peaceful protest. This is not a peaceful protest. You deprive people of going out and coming back safe and you call it a peaceful protest. Nobody should blame the government. Blame the people, people that created this. Please, if you're in Abuja, stay home. Hashtag Wuse2. And then uh, from Ade on Judeji, we saw this tweet. Let's not forget that there was a time when the Shiites were not protesting. They were just in court. Helping this government will, hoping this government will obey the rule of law from DJ Ade on Ju tweeting there. And then we saw more tweets yesterday, of course, from I am ANN tweeting. Shiites protesting Wuse2 Abuja has turned violent. When will our security agents allow Shiites to protest in peace? Our security forces should stop discrimination. Uh, from I am ANN tweeting and then from Omeri Twitter, this Shiites being murdered by the army really bothers me. This might just be a prelude of what is to come when the Nigerians hit the streets to protest if Wari loses the election in 2019 and refuses to go back to Dara. Uh, Mary Twitter uh, uh, fired that tweet yesterday and Senate President also Bukola Saraki weighed in on the issue tweet and said uh, from the reports I have received, the ongoing protest in Abuja is escalating with significant loss of lives and damage to property. Right now, I call on the protesters and our security agents uh, to exercise extreme restraint and told the part of peace. Uh, and I address number three citizen, Senate President Bukola Saraki, uh, tweeting yesterday calling for peace on both sides uh, of this uh, crisis that uh, has uh, been on for the past few days. And we move on to Imo State now. Uh, the crisis of the Imo State APC, Gubernatorial Primaries, has been on for some time now. Again, it filtered into the social media yesterday when we saw a video that has been trending. Uh, it was on Nairal on the front page of Nairal yesterday. It was also on Twitter. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the, the parody account of President Buari actually shared uh, that video yesterday. Tweet and said, Rivers APC, Black Panther. Adamawa APC, House of Cards. Zamfara APC, World War Z. Delta APC, Mission Impossible, Fallout. Emo APC, Die Another Day. Ever since Oshomole became our party chairman, APC has been acting action film everywhere and embedded in that tweet uh, that has been viewed several thousands of times. Let's take a look at that video. We could not understand.
conduct this primary today because of our late arrival, before we could finish all the processes, it was late. We will start it first thing tomorrow morning. Four o'clock this morning, we had to leave Uwere. Honorable Uche Obumba Uwosu, 455,600. In Imo State, we are setting up a committee that will be manned by men and women who cannot be compromised. Uche Uwosu, with 169,509 is hereby declared the winner of this governorship primary election in Igbo State 2018. Imo is the man, but for him, APC will not win in Imo State. If the woman is a president to win election in the Southeast, allow him to be unless he become a force for PDP. Please! Our party, National Working Committee, I think you are the point of duty to defend the integrity for which APC is known. Anything short of that will amount to self implosion and destruction of the party. Interesting development from uh, Imo State APC. Twice uh, the primary was conducted and uh, twice uh, Uche Umusu emerged as winner, but uh, he still has not been uh, uh, given the ticket, as we know. From Columbus, uh, anywhere we saw this tweet, Rocha should go and get his son-in-law a Rolex watch. <laughs> the state is too big to be made a gift. Uh, interesting comments. I followed that video on uh, President Buari's parody account. Uh, Oshomale is not fit to be chairman. Look at what he cost at Zamfara, Delta, Rivers, ETC. Why is this man bent on sabotaging the mandate freely given to Honorable Unche Unwosu? We show Molly why from Okoye Chooks we saw that tweet and from Brian J. Dennis we saw this tweet. Uh, APC cannot organize ordinary peaceful primaries. Party of gangsters. From Brian J. Dennis and then from Ike Okuchido we saw this tweet. Uh, I'm personally not a fan of Okorocha but given the facts of this case, what happened in Imbo State is clear daylight robbery against Unche Unwosu. A big slap on the anti-corruption posturing of the Buari APC government. Uh, comments uh, over the issue, the APC uh, emo uh, matter that has still been on. And then from Fanny Rocks, we saw this tweet, uh, see how Oshomole single-handedly ruined APC to where uh, APC should just let him go. And uh, Oshomole taking a lot of flack uh, over this matter. And we saw this tweet also from the Nigerian whalers, Comrade Adams Oshomole is the real MVP. He's helping Nigerians to dismantle her biggest problems. Let's encourage him to tear APC apart so Nigerians can have peace. Uh, comments uh, yesterday on the social media on this matter. And we move now to the APC official uh, uh, Twitter account, the APC United Kingdom, uh, posted a video yesterday uh, trying to lampoon uh, the PDP presidential candidate, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. In that uh, tweet, they said, uh, who wants to be a trilonier at the expense of Nigerians? And they embedded this video uh, that seems to uh, caricature uh, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, now PDP presidential candidate. Let's take a look at that video. Do you think that people trust you? Uh, well, matter of trust uh, is, is relative. You know, Some will trust you, uh, some may not trust you. You don't expect everybody to trust you. But on the whole? You're asking to be their president. Of course, on the whole, that, most people, people most, trust you, most, especially most, because most people trust there have been allegations of corruption on your part when you were when you were president. The, the corruption issue is big in Nigeria. So, do you yeah. trust is a is a very important commodity? Yes. Is it one that you think you have? I I believe if the younger people require. Okay, let's take a look at comments that followed uh, from uh, Tim Quara. We saw this tweet. Even if Atiko is son of Lucifer, crown prince of King Pharaoh, and second in command to Zodiac the Killer, 
Don't wahala yourself. We will try him. Uh, we saw that tweet and then from uh, Jack Zanger. Actually, this video was completely doctored. He has said times without numbers that we should bring forward our claims to indict him. But this government is just doing media trial. Besides, Wari's wife had the same U.S. scandal. His wife had two and we swept it under the carpet. Uh, let's take a look at uh, more tweets on that matter, uh, which was on yesterday on the official Twitter account of APC U United Kingdom. Suits and ties and bogus business claims don't make an ugly past go away. Those who care to know would always ask questions. From M. Uh, Mutawale, we saw that tweet. And let's go on. And from Jerry, the King TP. But Atiku financed the 2015 election of Buhari and you didn't complain. APC is a failed party. Let me also make this clear. APC does not exist in UK. Scam. <laughs> and uh, let's go on now. From this NJ, I'm not... And we are not buying this. Give us issues-based campaign and not slandering, I beg. I'm voting for Atiku Obi. Thank you, PMB. But you just have to go back home come 2019. From John Luca tweeting at DCNJ. We saw that tweet from Olua Tomi Nash. Atiku has done more interviews this year than PMB in four years. And he did justice to the questions. Trust is relative. Besides, when I edit most of the video. So now waiting... Now we till now spend time do be this, laughing my ass off and then we saw more comments yesterday. Uh, okay, now we move from that issue now to uh, the issue of President Bwari's uh, YX certificate that has refused to die off the Nigerian social media. A Twitter user, Uncle underscore Ajala, tweeted this video se yesterday saying, uh, Far said the same people that stole Bwari's certificate stole his own. Let's take a look at the video that was embedded in this tweet. And they are calling Jagaba. Jagaban. Yes, sir, Jagaban. Odewale, Abi, you don't drink small thing this evening. Ah. Sir, I did not drink anything. I did not drink anything, sir. So how you take no say I go nowhere to find Jagaban? Sir, it's Judy that tell me. Judy said that you are working in Rwanda, and uh, Jagaban is owner of Rwanda, owner of NPC, in fact, owner of federal government. So I believe that if I can meet Jagaban like this, my own is better in this life. In fact, I will never suffer. New lady, I'm what it is like, like. You know how they say it nowadays. God win. Yes, sir. Odewale. Sir? I thought you said you finished school. Sir, I qualify with first degree from foreign university. But the same people that thief for certificate, they are the same people that thief my own. Those cabals, sir, are very wicked. Very funny video there from uh, Files uh, talking about President Buhari's YX certificate. The same people that stole Buhari's certificate stole my own. Yesterday, President Buhari was in Kaduna uh, to personally ascertain the state of things in that state following a series of violent events we've seen in Kaduna State. Uh, let's take a look at how that issue uh, generated comments in the social media. Governor Kaduna tweeted and said, On behalf of the government and people of Kaduna State, I wish to warmly welcome our leader, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, to Kaduna State. Mr. President, we are encouraged by your visit at this trying moment. Erify uh, tweeted, and uh, let's take a look at uh, more comments yesterday on President Buhari's visit to Kaduna. Uh, Femi Adeshina, presidential spokesperson, tweeted and said, Despite the somber nature of the visit, President Muhammad Buhari gets rapturous welcome in Kaduna. Greater love had no man than this, <laughs> Femi Adeshina tweeted. And of course, President Buhari supporters tweeted also said, uh, one Twitter user, Salim Ahmad 3713 tweeted and said, President Buhari entered Kaduna State today unannounced, and look at what happened. Heroic welcome. This is not even Katsina. We challenge Atiku to enter Adamawa unannounced. Let's compare the masses' reaction. And then we take a look at uh, more Twitter. Iwe underscore Andrew tweeting, Buhari's unannounced visit to Kaduna gets massive crowd reception. This is pre-campaign and microphone testing season. PNB is a go. Of course, the President Buhari also tweeted, and his tweet about the visit to Kaduna got a lot of reactions. This is what he tweeted. He said, uh, I paid a visit to Kaduna to sympathize with the people on the recent killings and unrest in the state and to meet with the affected communities. Our security agencies are now on top of the situation and we shall ensure that all the perpetrators are held to account. But this is how Nigerians were reacting to that tweet. Uh, Tony Marks on the Scott Tony tweet and said, um, your sympathy is not enough. When your son almost died in a bike accident, you did all you could to save his life. I never knew you valued life that much. You could imagine the agony of losing a son. Stop the killings of innocent Nigerians. It's too much. From uh, Tony on the Scott Tony Marks uh, there. And from uh, Twitter user Damola992, we saw this tweet. Wow, sir, I cannot help but notice you have become very physically active of late, sir. 
I sincerely wonder what could be the reason, sir. Please share, sir. We thank God for your speedy recovery before the new year. Best regards, sir. From Dambola992 and from MSB, we saw this tweet. Uh, uh, we appreciate your efforts at putting all within your...